Hi, I'm Tudor and welcome back to my channel. If you will enjoy this Sony ZV-1 video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment in the section below with any questions that you have. As some of you might know, this is a new YouTube channel that I've just started a few months ago. I only have about five videos at this point in time on my channel, all of them being filmed with a Huawei P30 phone together with the DJI Osmo 3 Mi stabilizer that I bought a while ago. That setup is a pretty good one for starting a vlog but it's not great in terms of image quality, sound quality or frame rate. With the Huawei P30 I could only shoot in Full HD with about 24 to 25 frames per second which is not bad but not great either. When the light conditions were a bit worse the image quality got highly deteriorated because of that so it wasn't ideal. Also the DJI Osmo 3 stabilizer is pretty handy, it connects to the phone through Bluetooth. They have an app that you can install on your phone that gives you a wide broad of settings and things to play with but it's a bit on the hard side to use your phone both as a camera and a phone in itself that's not very comfortable it's not very handy to just raise your camera point and shoot your video so it needs extra concentration extra effort and i wasn't going to go with that in the long run that's the reason that I went yesterday and bought the Sony ZV-1 camera. I've also got the Bluetooth grip with it that acts as a tripod as well. I got the camera as a very good deal. There's a shop in Dublin that was selling it for 749 euro compared to 800 euro on the Sony website. And as a bundle, they offered the wireless grip for half the price. So price was reduced for the grip from 200 euro to about 99 euro. So all in all I've paid 888 euro for the camera, Bluetooth grip and the SD card. Sound wise the ZV-1 has three mics built in which are pretty good as a starting point but not great. So I've just attached my Boya BY-MM1 microphone. It's a small shotgun condenser microphone that you can attach on the top of the camera and it's of way better quality than the built-in mic. I was using this microphone in my previous videos with my phone, but I think the output is way better while using the camera instead of the phone. I will now switch to my phone so I can show you how the camera looks, how the whole setup looks, and we'll go through it and describe it a bit. So this is my current setup. You can see the Bluetooth grip here. It's pretty solid, but it's not made of, the, of a very high quality plastic. I found the DJI Osmo 3 grip to be of way better build quality. But it works pretty well. It is easy to pair with the camera itself. It takes about 20 seconds and after it's paired you have absolutely no problem. You don't have to connect it again. You only use the lock button when you turn off the camera and you can unlock it and it will connect straight away. This is the Boya condenser microphone on top of my camera. It is pretty good, it has a wind deflector, a dead cat, as they call it, on top of it. It's built of aluminium, it looks pretty solid and it outputs a pretty decent sound quality. A nice feature of the ZV camera is that when you actually turn the flip screen and close it, it will turn off the camera and when you want to start the camera you don't have to use the on off button you only flip out the screen itself and the camera will start right away you only have to click the movie button and recording will start right away other than that the grip is pretty basic you can use the optical zoom as you can see from these buttons this zoom in and out control has some settings so it can be faster or slower i think this is a standard mode so it's pretty slow into zooming in but it does the trick. The lens of this camera has aperture size of 1.8 to 2.8. It's pretty good in low light. I've tested it last night. The flip screen is actually an LCD. It is a touch panel indeed, but it doesn't help you set the camera. The settings menu won't be available to touch. You have to use the dials in order to navigate it and do your settings. But while the screen is flipped if you want to manually select focus you only have to press on the screen wherever you want the camera to focus so it's a touch panel but it does only half of the job which is very strange to me focus is very smart i've seen that it has about 
315 focus points uh, it is very easy for this camera to focus between your face or a product so for example if you're presenting a product it will be able to switch focus very quickly I shall demonstrate that with my car key so this is my car key back to my face back to the car key you see how fast how quick it is very capable on this perspective I wasn't able to do this with my phone as you can see image quality is pretty good as well one downside that I've noticed straight away was the small battery that this camera comes equipped with as it's a compact camera we could expect that the battery is not very large and there is no external charger for that so you have to use a micro usb cable which you plug into a camera and in some power brick of your own as they don't provide any power bricks and that will charge your camera so for example if you have two or three batteries with this camera that you want to keep charged all the time you actually have to switch them in the camera and charge them one after the other as you can't charge two in parallel i think this is a bit of a drawback but yeah there is no perfect product on the market today so we'll have to find a solution for that the case of the camera looks pretty solid i'm not sure about the materials maybe there's some lightweight alloy or something doesn't look to be plastic i can't wait to see how's the image quality after we edit the video currently i'm using the adobe premiere video editor so that should give me some color grading some color adjustment there is not much else about it i don't want to get into technicalities so i think this is the video for today the first test with the sony zv1 camera if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and for any questions as i've mentioned before don't forget to leave a comment talk to you soon thank you for watching bye